And Idaho football will take on Idaho State, the Battle of the Domes rivalry game on Saturday. But football isn't the number one thing on the players' minds right now. The team is mourning the loss of the four Idaho students who were murdered earlier this week, some of whom the players were friends with. The players have been allowed to take a break from football this week while grieving the student deaths. Idaho head coach Jason X says they will work game prep around the needs of the student athletes, understanding that this is a delicate time for many in the Moscow community. You know, I, I don't want them thinking uh, I got to block this out because of football. You know, we, we got to take time to have a grieving process and, uh, and and play a role with that. And again, I think football is secondary uh, to that. You know, hopefully as the the week goes on, you know, we'll have, we'll have a time and place for football. We're going to be very lax as guys are going through this process to make sure they're having the time they need to grieve and, and handle that because this is uh, not a typical thing to happen in Moscow, Idaho, for, for, for people to get murdered. So I think it's very disconcerting to a lot of uh, you know a lot of students and a lot of people in the whole whole community. This isn't the first time Eck has been through something like this. Eck was an assistant coach at Idaho when freshman cornerback Eric McMillan was murdered in 2004. Kickoff between Idaho and Idaho State is set for noon on Saturday. Amidst everything going on, Idaho is still looking to earn a playoff spot. No doubt the team will be playing with heavy hearts this week.